If you use Discord's profile connections, then Discord might have just leaked your name. Now, I'm going to give you three reasons why you should think twice before adding a profile connection, and the first reason is because Discord made a little bit of a mistake, to put it lightly. Between 1.50 and 3 o'clock in the morning GMT, Discord exposed all user connections regardless of visibility settings. What this means is that if you went on someone's Discord profile and you scrolled down, you could see every one of their profile connections, even if they turned off display on profile. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, if you go to your user settings and you go to connections, there's a couple of connections that aren't like the others. If you use the PayPal and the Facebook connection and you add it to your Discord profile, it will show your full name, which is obviously really bad. Now, of course, you might have added PayPal or Facebook to your Discord account, but you turned off the setting to display it on your profile. But Discord made that mistake and now anyone could check it. Despite it being turned off, it would be visible on your profile. Now, that is a massive deal, but you should simmer down for a second because it's not as bad as you would think because the chances of someone taking advantage of this bug is very low in my opinion. In this article written by Discord Previews, they actually tell you what you would have to do to take advantage of this mistake. You would need to use Discord Canary, you would need to be active during the time that this exploit was available, you would need to click on someone's profile, and the fourth and final one, which is impossible for Discord users, you would actually need to pay attention to what was going on on your screen. That's already tough for me, there's no subway surfers on my screen right now, what am I even saying? Now if you're not a turbo nerd like myself that's on Discord 24-7, and you probably have no idea what Discord Canary is. And basically, Discord has multiple versions of their client. So when you go to Discord and you just download Discord, you are getting the stable version. However, you can get a beta version of Discord called PTB, but then there's an alpha version of Discord called Canary. Now, since most people don't know about these different versions of Discord, this means that this data breach isn't something super duper crazy. Once again, you need super turbo Discord nerds like myself to actually be using Discord Canary. There were just so many restrictions that I don't think any user on the platform was maliciously targeted by this exploit. But we will have to wait until Discord says something about it, and if they have some sort of data breach notice, I'll put it in a pinned comment. So what should you do right now? Well, you should go to your Discord, go to your Discord settings, go to connections, and remove anything that contains sensitive personal information. Remember, this breach made it where this toggle here, display on profile, didn't work, and everything was shown on your profile. So if you have a PayPal connection that shows your first name, or a Facebook connection that shows your first name, then just click on the little X button and remove them. Now, the second reason why you shouldn't add a Discord profile connection is that if you get hacked, these connections can make your life a whole lot worse. So let's say you're a normal Discord user, and you get hacked by falling for the most obvious scam on the planet. This is one of those, uh, naughty Discord servers, where if you click on verify on a fake Discord bot, it'll tell you to scan this QR code. If you scan this QR code with your Discord app, you're basically giving the hacker access to your account. So right now, I'm the hacker on your Discord account, and there's multiple things I can do to try and get your personal information. First, I could go to your user settings and reveal your email. And if your email is first name, last name with some numbers at gmail.com, kaboom, baby. I can use this to blackmail you. What they could also do is they could go to your profile connections and see, oh, is that your whole name on your PayPal connection? I'm going to use that too to blackmail you. And that's why even on my own account, I only have YouTube connected so that people can verify me. I don't want to have my first name possibly be exposed because I got hacked. That's just dumb. Now, of course, if you download some malware and it takes all your username and passwords, and this is the least of your worries, but if I were you, what I'd do is I'd go to your Discord account right now. Go to your connections and once again, remove any connection that isn't important to you. If you don't have it displayed on your profile, just remove it. The third reason why you need to stop adding these unnecessary profile connections is because of of Discord bots. In this tweet by Panley, which was the first person that reported on this as far as I know, they made a very important statement. Remember that any app authed with the connection scope can see all of your connections, regardless of their visibility status. What the f***? does that mean? Well, I'm going to break it down. Right now, I have a very important Discord bot. It is the eGirlfriend Finder. Now, my eGirlfriend Finder Discord bot is asking for permission to access my third-party connections. Now, I am ludicrously down bad to try and get an eGirlfriend, so I authorize eGirlfriend Finder, and my Discord bot receives this list of information for every single type of connection you have on your Discord profile. Now, in this list, there's a lot of nerdy stuff. I'm going to tell you the important stuff. The first important field is type. Type tells me what type of connection it is. So is it PayPal? Is it Reddit? Is it Twitter? I mean X, Elon Musk, please don't kill me. But then there's the field name. Now this is going to show your username. So your X username, 
God, I got it right this time. But if you have a PayPal or a Facebook connection, this name field is going to be your full name. And this is sent off to the bot, by the way. Now, the most important field of this whole entire list is visibility. And this number tells the bot whether or not you've turned on the connection on your profile or turned it off. If it's connected to your account, the bot will see it. And this could be very bad because one of those free Nitro Discord bots that try to get you to join servers could also ask for your third-party connections and use that information to try and blackmail you. Assuming even if you're a smart cookie and you don't fall for Discord scams, this permission of access your third-party connections could be bad for even normal Discord bots. For example, if Discord.io had this permission, and if you didn't know already they went through a data breach, then that information, assuming you had a profile connection that contained your first name, could be in that data breach. Very bad. Now, even if you're smart and you realized, wait, maybe having my PayPal account connected to my Discord is a bad idea, you should still be concerned because you might have an old username connected to your Discord profile. And to be honest, we were all kids once. When I was a kid, I had an old username and I basically put on a form. I said, hi, my name is, I just listed my full name under that old username. And if you were stupid like me, then someone could try to search up your username and stalk you and use your stupidity as a kid, of course, to try and blackmail you. Now, what should you do? If there's a profile connection you don't want visible on your Discord profile, just remove it. It's that easy. Now you don't have to worry about it at all. And also, while we're at it, and since we're talking about Discord bots, go to your authorized apps and just look through this and delete anything you don't recognize. So for example, if I scroll down, oh, we have NSFW access. How convenient. This is something I don't recognize. I would remove it. And also, for a good measure, remove any Discord bot that asks you to join servers for you. That is very important. Now, if you made it this far, I'm going to give you a little bit of a treat because I got nerdy, but if you're on the Discord connections page and you press the shift button, X turns back into Twitter, baby. This is the best Discord feature of all time. Thank you, Discord, for doing this. Oh, I turned on sticky keys. God damn it. All right, I'm going to learn how to use a computer again. Adios, gamers. Love you. Mwah!